I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, my second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. Pedro's more of a, he's not really a passing quarterback, but I wouldn't go as far to say he's a running quarterback either. He's kind of just on the field. He's an on the field quarterback. He's there. He shows up to the games. Need a big completion here. And that could be it. Goddard over the top to Jake Rodriguez, the starting tight end with a huge catch. Dropped in the bucket by Pedro Goddard. I'm voting for Pedro. He will be the Heisman winner. Here's a read option now. And Goddard has nothing but room. Goddard trying to outrun a defensive tackle and a cornerback, but the cornerback brings him down from behind. But Pedro Goddard leading this outlaw team to victory. Never stop. Keep shooting. Keep firing. The Ozark State Outlaws are killing it. And Pedro Goddard is a huge reason why. Put him on the Heisman list already. The Heisman watch. Vote for Pedro. I just... Did he really uncork that? Roland Francisco! Down to the 169 yards. That is so nice. I didn't think Goddard would have the arm. We waited for it. We waited for it. We waited for it. And Goddard hit it perfectly. And here's another read option for Pedro Goddard. He's to the outside. Makes a great cut. And Goddard will go to the end zone. 34 yards to the house for Pedro Goddard. That's going to be a tough throw, but he makes it. Ryan Muller, touchdown. Pedro Goddard has had quite a game. 12 for 17, 182, and now a touchdown. Where did that come from? Are we voting for Pedro again? Let's see if we can pick up the first down. We're going to roll out. And we're just going to run. Pedro Goddard. He's got a touchdown. 16 yards and 6 points. I can't believe that worked out. That's open. Goddard finds Francisco. Francisco finds the end zone. 43 yards. And we're going to take the lead. No. Pedro breaks the sack. Throws it. To register! I'm telling you. Pedro Goddard, you know, of course, vote for Pedro. We might as well, like, re-nickname him as something involving a circus. Like, the Ringmaster. That's kind of a sick nickname. But it's all these circus plays from him. Looking like Eli Manning in the Super Bowl. Throwing a David Tyree over the middle. With the emergence of Colby Spencer. We're gonna throw that ball on the run. It's gonna be touchdown. Jake Rodriguez. And the Ringmaster is back. Not making any circus clown interceptions, but making some of these circus throws on the run to the open receiver. This time, it's a tight end. And Ozark State going to take an early 7-0 lead. First and goal. Give me Omar. That's not a throw I want to make. We're actually going to throw that one. It's Omar Williams. Touchdown. The ringmaster is back at it again with these on-the-run circus throws. We're going to go deep. And it's a terrible throw, but it ended up being the best possible spot because the safety playing deep didn't even realize it at all. It's a touchdown. Roland Francisco as Pedro Goddard continues his incredible game. Get out, Goddard. I want to throw it. We're going to lob it up. And it's on the money for Kendrick Cunningham. <laughs> I swear, like... Pedro Goddard makes all these circus plays for us that uh, that Colby Spencer doesn't. That's wide open. Goddard on the run, on the money for Register. Look at that juke. Oh, my God, Register. Double kill. What a monster. I got to figure out how to celebrate in this game again because if there was ever a time, it'd be right there. Pedro Goddard throws his third touchdown of the game. We're going to run. I'm going to throw that on the run. It's complete to Hunter Register. First down, and ULM will call their final timeout. The circus continues. We're going to lob that up. Oh, my God. Ryan Muller. When we're with Pedro Goddard, we got to try the circus stuff. Just throw it up on the run and see what happens. 
Oh, I want to throw RB. We may or maybe over the line there. It's complete to Kedrick Cunningham. Are they not calling that? I'll take 37 yards all day. A little bit of that circus action from the ringmaster. Pedro Goddard. What a goon. Oh, we, we can hit that. Goddard deep to Omar. Omar Williams down inside the five. He is such a beast. And Pedro Goddard's having an incredible game. His numbers would be even more inflated if not for a drop by Jake Rodriguez at the end of the half. We're going to throw it up to Omar. And that's completed to Hunter Register. Off the hands of the defensive back. I'm telling you, it's something. The ringmaster. Pedro Goddard. There's something about it where just he's in the game and it's all hell breaks loose. What? <laughs> They're throwing short. Get there, Garrett. Good tackle. Heath picks up four still. It's a run. Big tackle. Edwin again. Big play from Garrett. You shall over the middle to Chris. And the ball's loose. Recovered by Devin Robeson. That was absolutely a turnover. There was no way he was down. Wide open. But the hit was made. Big, big play. Gotta love it. That's Edwin Garrett. Oh, ball's out. Recovered by Edwin Garrett. UAB turnovers the ball on the kick return. Third and 12. Honestly, game on the line here. We're going to need a score, probably. There's Goddard. Finds Jake Rodriguez. This time they convert. And you know what? It wasn't Pedro Goddard. It was Kedrick Cunningham back in the game. It's where We got to look always to run the ball. That was not to Roland Francisco. It was not a good throw. Do not give him credit in the comments. 51 yards to the house. That was not to Roland Francisco. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was... <laughs> Kedrick Cunningham, 20 rushes for 183. Unbelievable performance by him. Absolutely the player of the game. Can't really dial it up any other way. And he finds Jake Rodriguez. The big tight end power is his way. All the way for six. Going down the middle. And that is on the money for Cunningham. That's a quarterback, Kedrick Cunningham. 41 yards down the field, quarterback to quarterback. That 85 speed at wideout is the move. Kedra Cunningham. We already know about him. We're going to go for that one, though. Over the top, complete to the X quarterback. Kedrick Cunningham. Still listed it on the QB depth chart. But, uh, yeah, he's a wide receiver now. And he's the one who catches the ball, ironically. What a touch pass from Pedro Goddard. Oh my goodness. Kendrick Cunningham is going to be the backup running back. T interesting. Very interesting. Who would have guessed that that's what would end up happening to him? Muller in motion. Hand off to Cunningham. And Kendrick Cunningham has a rushing touchdown as a running back. Oh my God, Kedrick Cunningham, he's still going. What a return. Unbelievable. That was ridiculous movement. Kedrick Cunningham, what a fun gadget player. And Scott Lewis broke his collarbone. He's out seven weeks. Okay. And you guys have your wish. Kedrick Cunningham is now the starting running back for the Ozark State Outlaws for the next seven weeks. This will be, though. Kendrick Cunningham already into the end zone and then flips over. What a goon. Oh, Kendrick. Oh, what a move. He's still going. Kendrick Cunningham with the shake and bake. Gotta love it. He's having a pretty good game. Oh, Kendrick Cunningham. What a monster. The juke to the power. It's the Kedrick Cunningham hour. 
cleaning up the defense like he's in the shower. I don't, I don't know what else would rhyme there. It's another read option. It's a triple option, and the ball's on the ground. Picked up by Fisher. We reeled in that pass. That's not who fumbled. It was Anthony Johnson. That's a big hit. Going fishing with Fisher. In the backfield, it's a read option, and it's shut down. Is that Jeff Fisher? It is number 30. Great, great play from the middle linebacker. We might be in a really tough spot here. Sir gonna try to take off, and he's destroyed. That was Fisher who made the hit. That's a great tackle. Jeff Fisher in the backfield. Oh, let's go. Good tackle for loss by Jeff Fisher. And that's a sack. Exactly what we needed. Sark goes down, losing nine. That's Jeff Fisher. His second sack of the game. On the middle linebacker blitz, Sark freaked out, tried to run, found nothing but number 30. Enemy spotted. Oh, oh my God. Wrap up. It's going to be a draw. That's a great play. Jeff Fisher and Devin Robeson combine for a fantastic effort to make Josh Adams lose some yards. Michelle looking to run. Nowhere to go. That's number 30 on the sack. Jeff Fisher. Third and eight. Let's get a stop. <laughs> Davis throwing it up. And it's going to be an interception. Jeff Fisher. He stays in bounds. Breaks a tackle. And is finally pushed out. Oh, that's open. Make the hit. Jeff Fisher levels him. Oh, great play. That was Jeff Fisher in coverage with the deflection. It's an option. Oh, what a tackle by Jeff Fisher. Shumley taking off. Get him. And the ball's loose. Recovered by Jeff Fisher. Chris Chase forced it out. And the Pawn Stars employee has turned over the football. Oh my goodness. You idiot. He's fooled them all. Scott Lewis with the moves. The shake and bake and the juke. And he picked up a ton. Scott? Scott Lewis? Scott Lewis! End zone! Touchdown! That's the end of the third quarter. And we got a two-score lead. Third and inches. Francisco in motion. We have Scott Lewis wide open. And he's going to break a tackle. Juke passed another one. And Scott Lewis nearly seeing daylight. What a run. What a run. Of course, it was a catch out of the backfield. But his individual effort was incredible there. Oh my goodness, what a disgusting juke to spin combo. It's the best five yard gain you're ever gonna see. There you go, Scott Lewis. There's a juke. Spin. Scott Lewis is a beast. You can't touch him. Hand it off to Scott Lewis to start things off. And it was an exceptional idea because he has some space. There's a juke move and he is down at the 30. 48 yard rush to start things off here at the saloon. He's not going to run over you. He will run around you, though. Look at that juke. <laughs> Have you ever seen a prettier two yards? He is honestly Christian McCaffrey. That's what Scott Lewis is. He is Stanford Christian McCaffrey. We don't really use him on returns that often, but he is back there. And he just really has that make you miss ability. We can run him between the tackles as we do right here. And we're killing it. When our blocking's good, we're great. We're golden. Here's a pitch to Scott Lewis. This is what we should have been doing more of. I need you to pick up that block. Let's go, baby. Scott Lewis down the sideline. Turn on the burners. Juke back inside. Scott Lewis. What a play. And just see what we can do. Scott Lewis. Disgusting. I mean, good block. There we go. Scott Lewis with a beautiful juke move. He's breaking a tackle. He picks up 19. That's what I'm talking about. Get out, Goddard. 
We're throwing up field to Scott Lewis. He makes a juke. He breaks a tackle, and it's good to have him back. Good counter. Give me the outside block. Scott Lewis has some speed. We're going to juke it back to the inside. Lewis still going inside the 30. Another big 20-plus yard gain for the senior running back. There we go, Scott. We got great blocks, and his speed is being fully utilized. Down the sideline. Down to the one. Scott Lewis picks up 49. And we have good blocking. His speed is just too much. He's going to get around the edge every time. We're going to throw that ball. Scott Lewis up the seam. Touchdown. Oh, Scott Lewis. Unbelievable player. Gardner, keep up, please. Somebody make a play on the ball. It's the outlaw. Chris Outlaw. He's got grass in front of him. How can you not beat the guard in a foot race? Anyway, this is a playmaker for us. He's not always the best. He he is a playmaker for us. Surefire difference maker, maybe not. He does have a good way of getting interceptions. That's either his third or fourth on the season. And that's more than I can say for anybody else on this team. Oh, and it's picked off by Outlaw. The Outlaw with an interception. It's not about settling for field goals. We will go for the score for six if the opportunity presents itself. We also have, like, no kicks. So. Oh, Outlaw. Chris Outlaw. Wheels to the outside. He beat his man. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. A trail of Jaguars behind him, but it's 90 yards to the house. The outlaw, the gunslinger. Kick return, touchdown, and we take the lead. Unbelievable. Great blocking and great speed from the fastest player on our entire team. Unbelievable. Smith, looks like he's gonna throw deep, and that is gonna be intercepted by the outlaw, Chris Outlaw. We tried to lay the block there with Tariq Parrish. And that's a great play by the defense. Looks like this man coverage thing's working out. Great stuff from Chris Outlaw. Good positioning. They're going deep. That's got to be a pick. It's the Outlaw on the Outlaws. Chris Outlaw. Pick up a block. And I would probably do the same again. As Outlaw has some space down the sideline. The fastest player on our team. With another fantastic return. I don't really know who to focus on here. White lobbing it up. And it's intercepted by the Outlaw. Chris Outlaw with a great play in the end zone. To stop Notre Dame from scoring. Read option. Oh my god, what a tackle. That's Chris Outlaw with her number 15 wrapping up. Most unlikely of players to get a tackle for loss, but hey, next man up. I love it. Make the play, Chris Outlaw with the interception. Way to jump in front of it, and he might have a chance to return this all the way. Nope. Oh, great tackle by Chris Outlaw. We sent a lot there, and it paid off. Oh, Chris Outlaw intercepts it. It's going back the other way. This is the time to make big plays. And in their first bowl game in Ozark State history, there's no bigger moment. 